In the late 19th century, Sri Lanka's first textile mill opened in the area of Willowita and Colombo. The mill workers were housed in living quarters located across the road from the mill, eventually becoming home to generations of families in the community over 90 years. In 2014, an 11-story high-rise apartment building known as Mayora Place was constructed to house these families in order to liberate the land that they occupied for its commercial value. One of many high-rise complexes being built under the UDA's Urban Regeneration Program, Mayura Place represents an example of in-situ upgrading which provides an opportunity to learn from and to improve resettlement and upgrading approaches in Colombo. There are 118 units in the building, each one with a standardized two-bedroom layout. Though it was common for multiple families to live in the same unit in the previous settlement, apartments in Mayura Place were allocated on the basis of a house for a house, rather than a house for a family. For some families, that has posed a challenge. Larger families, for example, typically find themselves using the same space for multiple purposes. Some have also began to claim common spaces, hallways and stairways to meet their needs. Satoon is a woman, lives with her husband, daughter and four grandchildren. Her home is not just a house. It is also where she makes her livelihood by operating a small shop from her living room window. <laughs> Prior to moving into Mayura Place, a total of 160 families lived in the previous settlement. While some families relocated to other parts of the city, the majority were moved into the new building a few meters away. The preservation of a community who has lived together for many generations has played a key role in maintaining the strong social bond between the residents living in Mayura Place today. Basically, if you're talking about the social uh, relationships, uh, like, you know, we have the uh, three religions here, Hindu, Muslims, and uh, Catholics, yeah, I'm Catholic. So, we all, you know, go about, so we have, you know, races, strike like that. So, like, you know, if there's anything, you know, in function or in festival, so we get together and, you know, we help each other out, that's it. Unity among an ethnically and religiously diverse group of residents is seen as an asset, and many residents depend on each other for social and financial support through both personal relationships and community associations such as savings groups, building upon their long history of collective community organization. The experiences of preserving the community's social networks and the way in which they are managing their living conditions make Mayura Place a unique example that can be learned from in achieving people-centered housing development.